Oh, you guys knew this video was coming. Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Cup D2 by Kangertech. <laughs> Yes, all right guys, it is time. I've got the Cup D version one right here, which is my all time favorite device. And I have the Cup D version two. Uh, I've kind of avoided this mod because like, I know I'm not gonna love it more than the version one because A, it has the same milliliter capacity as the smaller version and B, it has, it needs two 18650 batteries. So it's gonna be a Hulkin device. You get the user's manual right on top OMG looks like an atomizer adapter so you can use whatever atomizer you want on here look at that thing it's huge <laughs> and then we have a USB charge cord right here along with a looks like a little coin to help with maybe the battery compartment or something and then a little warning thing about filling and here it is oh my gosh oh I can't get it out It has like the body of the rouleau. Wow, that is so big. And here is the fire button, the screen, regulatory buttons, charge port. It does have upgradable firmware. So this takes two 18650 batteries here at the bottom. Pull this back and it flings open like so. And they run in series. Let me just grab some married batteries right here and plop them in. This has a pre-installed 0.5 ohm stainless steel 316 L wire coil. You can get this kit for around $60. I will leave a link below to where you can get free shipping with it as well. And here it, oh my gosh, it's really, it's heavy. I mean, not really heavy, but like for me, definitely version one, version two, like, there's just, there's no comparison for me. And this is only a five mil tank. Like it looks like it could hold a lot. We have a max fill line right there. We have adjustable airflow, just like the original removable drip tip but I really do like the drip tips that come with it. We have battery venting holes here on the side. Oh my gosh, this thing, more venting holes. It's just hulking. It is available in white, black, and silver, and it does have an RBA base available, but it's sold separately. And the Cup D number one also has an RBA base, contrary to popular belief. So I'm gonna reach right here behind me and grab this Marshmallow Crisp by Kilo, their white series, and that's what I am filling up in my Cup D today. Cup D 2. So you just unscrew the top, pull it out, the coil is attached at the end, just like the version 1, and I'm going to fill it. Try to fill it nicely. Right there you have it. I have it filled up a little bit below the max fill line. I'm going to stick this down in there and thread it on. All right, so that's wicking up. Let me tell you a little bit more about this device. Its dimensions are four and one eighth inch by two inches by one and five eighths of an inch. I do like that it has an atomizer adapter so you can stick that right in there and have any atomizer you want sticking out on top. It does support TC modes for NI200 nickel wire, titanium, and stainless steel. In wattage mode, it goes from five to 80 watts. And in temperature mode, it goes from 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest resistance you should put on this device is 0.1 ohm. As I mentioned before, it does have top control airflow valve right here and that patented cup design to prevent any leaking. This whole thing is made of a zinc and aluminum alloy construction and it has an OLED screen right here. It asks new or old coil. It is a new coil. Well, it's probably an old coil because it's the one that came with this, but I always just put yes. It does have five memory modes. If you press the fire button and the plus button at the same time, it will flip the screen orientation for left or right-handed. If you press the fire button and the down button at the same time, it will lock the power mode so you can't adjust the wattage or temperature, whatever mode you're in, but you can still fire it. Right now it's in wattage mode. And if you press the fire button three times, It'll change to temperature, then for titanium, then for stainless steel. And it says that my batteries are almost dead, but I could have swore I charged these up before the video. And your Coopty can also detect what type of coil you have on it. So if you try to 
fire a nickel coil in wattage, it will say check atomizer and let you know. If you press and hold both the plus and minus buttons at the same time, you will enter the temperature curve or power curve mode. It has short circuit protection, open circuit protection, it has a vaping cutoff, and high temperature protection, and low resistance protection. Alright, so let's give this big beast a vape. <laughs> Huge. Ooh, my first vape off of it. Not too bad. Very yummy, yummy flavor. Mmm. Mmm, that's such a good marshmallow flavor. Yeah, my arm's like getting tired just holding this. Like, it's too heavy for me personally. It has Cup D2 on the top with the Kanger Tech logo. Now, they did include that coin. So I'm wondering like what that's for, seeing as how the battery just pops open and the, the, like, I don't know. I seriously have to switch hands. Like, it's freaking heavy. Clouds, bitch. So the Cup D2 does have a lot bigger battery life than the Cup D version 1 because it takes two 18650 batteries. It does hold the same amount of e-liquid and it only goes up by five more watts, but there is upgradable firmware. So that leads me to believe that in the future or maybe even now possibly that you can upgrade it to go higher in wattage. It uses the same atomizer heads, the Kangertech CLOCC, which I believe CL stands for child lock. At least that's what I thought it meant when they put out the CL tank, the child lock tank. So CL child lock, oh my god. So CL child lock OCC organic cotton coil. It's kicking out the vapor though, but oh my god, is this a heavy mod or what? But it's gonna last you a long time. like. My Cup D lasts me about three days at the minimum of battery life, and so that one would definitely last me probably close to a week, but it's too heavy for me. So to answer everyone's question, no, the Cup D2 does not steal my love away from my beautiful rose gold Cup D. Mm -mm. But I will leave a link below to where you can check out this device for yourself if you're interested. If you have it and you use it, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. If you like it or if you hate it, I'd love to hear from you guys. Unfortunately, I won't be doing a one month update on that seeing as how it is so similar to the Cup D version 1 and it's just so heavy that I would, I wouldn't pick it up like I wouldn't. I just, I mean, if I had to vape it, I would, but it's huge. It's too heavy. No, thank you. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for the Cup D hashtag Team Cup D. That's me. Where are my Team Cup D's at? Let me know down in the comments below. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. You can check the description box below for all that social media stuff. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.